Sparkle Squad, this is Monica, and it is December 2023, and I have another Potomac Beads Best Bead Box slash Treasure Edition. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas, y'all! <laughs> All right, let's see what we have. This, oh, and look, I color coordinated again. I'm, wow, this thing's plum full. Look at that. This is Winter Luminescence. Bold and bright lights glow above a pristine blanket of shimmering snow. Soft pearlescent angels hover in every storefront vignette downtown. This month's treasure box features merry and bright colors of check glass as well as a touch of snow white that marks the winter holiday season. Create festive holiday jewelry with a basic stringing technique reminiscent of popped corn and cranberries on an evergreen tree and build your own cozy atmosphere that is perfect for creating memories with friends and family. Oh, this is going to be so fun. This is all the goodies that is on my little paper here. Merry Christmas to you all. I hope that you are having a warm, safe, and happy holiday season. I know it's been kind of a rough year for a lot of us. So let's have a positive thought. Let's send up the sparkles to the universe and hope that we get them back in return for 2024, right? I noticed right off that I get a little tool again, and last month, if you'll recall, I got a plier, which was so exciting because, you know, every time they send us something that we use, like those measuring tapes and the little storage containers and the bag and all that cool stuff, it, especially if it has the Potomac name on it, it's just another layer of coolness and interest that you have with these monthly subscription boxes, but in particular for me, you know, as a, a jewelry maker, you're always looking for something fun, but also functional and any kind of tool, honey, has nothing but good, right? <laughs> we got some more of this beautiful bead stringing wire. This is the seven strand and we get five meters or 16.4 feet. Seven strands is like the most economical. It's got seven strands that are compacted together. This is a like a good flexibility strand and everything. It's nylon coated stainless steel. I haven't had any problems with anything kinking up on me. However, I don't actually make any harsh bends or use any kind of odd shaped beads on the same strand. If you do, then you might want to upgrade to the 49 strand. That's got more of the wires that are compacted together or compressed together and it gives it a little bit more flexibility, but it also gives a little bit more strength. This though is really good to practice on or for beginning beaters or if you're just kind of wanting something a little bit more economical, like you're just putting something together really quickly. I mean, this works for any kind of jewelry. I used this for years before I uh, upgraded myself to the 19 and the 49 strand wires of bead stringing wire. I am tickled to get some more wire. I can always use wire and then they included a tool for us. This is the bead stopper. And y'all have heard me talk about this before. This is just like a little spring and when you do this you can put your little wires whatever, like imagine there were beads on there and you just put your little bead stopper on there. It just grabs hold of the wire and you don't want to just strip it off of the wire. You're just going to um, push both ends and pull it right off whenever you're ready to finish that end. But it holds your bead work so you don't have to worry about anything getting lost. Thank you, Potomac Beads. Laser cut ornament form, which I believe I have right here. Look, it's an ornament that it has a snowflake on it. Now you have this side here, which I think is the one that you can peel off. I don't know. I've got to, I've got to look again at that. And then this is the kind of the rougher side that you might want to actually have front facing. Laser cut exclusive Potomac designs from wood, leather, or acrylic. Wood designs are lightweight and sustainable. The protective coating can be removed to reveal the beautiful wood, acrylic, or leather material beneath. Now, I like this side. It's kind of the rougher grain. But over here, I didn't have any success the last time trying to pull that up. Because we got something that was in the earring shape, I think it was. You can pull that protective coating off of your, your little wood piece there and then see what's exposed underneath, which I like this side here just fine. But once I can see a little bit better what I'm looking at, I might try to get this side off. I don't want to damage anything though, so we'll, we'll see. But you take your coating off and then you can decorate your ornament with beads or whatever it is that you want to do. You can use inks, all kinds of cool things. So that's really neat. This is Czech Twist Nuggets in the red, white, and green. 
Those are really cute. Festive. Then we have a mixed bag of red, white, and green check glass beads. I love that little petite white bead right there. That's a cool shape. I think that's a, like a turbine. And, or I don't know. I guess it's a turbine. I don't know. But that's what I'm calling it. But look how petite they are. So this is a nice little mix here that we can use. And then we have spring clasp. And this is a 24 karat rose gold plated. I love that color. That's pretty. It's like a light copper, but it's rose gold. And this is all by its little lonesome. This is a Potomac Crystal Rivoli in Mystic Sapphire. Ooh. I don't think I have that size. It's a 10 millimeter. I might. The little settings that will hold those. This is another tube clasp. This is a three strand though. Silver plated 25 or 21 and a half millimeter in the silver. The, oh, I almost bought some of these. <laughs> this is the Paisley Puffed Coin in the Crystal Check Glass. And these are so pretty. Look at this. See how they have that kind of Aurora Borealis look to them? And is it that? Yeah, it's that way on both sides too. I love the sparkle of these. We get a lot of those. That's nice. Then we get some of these check petal beads, the 22 millimeter. Do I get four this time? Nope, just get three, but that's enough to do. That's enough to do. Yeah. Very nice, large size. Oh, look, we got Christmas trees. This is a check Christmas tree, and I think it says, no, it doesn't give a size, but I want to say that might be a 20 millimeter. Mm, I don't know, but those are cute. Some are gold and some are silver. We get two of each. The finish on the bead. And we have stainless steel metal spacers, also in the 24 karat rose gold plated. Got some Potomac pearls, which you know I love. The pastel green, two millimeter, eight inch strand. These are teeny tiny, oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm going to need to get out my, my special glasses, guys. I'm going to need help. <laughs> Do you know if I'm checking my list and checking it twice, I may have to have a bifocals or trifocals. We've got some lever back ear wires, 18 millimeter. This is 99.9% .9 silver plated brass. I'm not really a fan of lever backs, but man, there's a lot of people that love them because they don't have a problem. Like with the fish hook style, that's usually what I have because it's just easier for me to put in my ears. A lot of people say that those back out of their ears are too easy. They don't want to have to use spacers and uh, or backings, I'm sorry. And they love these lever backs. So I'm not familiar enough with actually wearing the lever backs, but a lot of people love them. So this is cool. These are some white spikes. Five by 13 millimeter. Hmm. When I look at these, I think of ice pick. I don't want to go all basic instinct. It's it, it's the season of Christmas, y'all. <laughs> but but I don't know. Maybe that tooth. What is that? The bumble from uh, the Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, that claymation thing from the 80s, I think it was. Maybe these are like those little ice cave things that keep falling down. Stalactites or mites or whatever those are. Okay, here's some orange uh, check glass smooth rondelles, three by six millimeter. These are like a burnt orange, I guess, is what they're trying to call that. The label got cut off. Oh, and these are the Eva beads. I have still got to experiment with those. That we've got Eva and we've got Ava. So these are some more Avas in metallic emerald, ten by four millimeter. We've got some Miyuki seed beads in the silver lined ruby. And this is 11 aught. Look at that sparkle. Isn't that pretty? I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. We've got some more red beads. These are like a saucer bead, I think. Let's see. Do they tell me? Well, it doesn't really say what they are. So we're just going to go with, this is kind of like a nugget, although it's rectangular. But it is a pretty deep red. Matches my gloves oh so well. Then we have a check glass fire polish. This is a three millimeter, I think. No, I believe it is a four millimeter size. And look at that sparkle. Every time you turn it around, you've got like a silvery blue finish to it. Isn't that pretty? Mm. 
That could actually be for non-Christmas. You could use that for like beach theme. I love it. These are so cool looking. This is like a lavender, very pale lavender drook. Almost so transparent. It's quartz looking in areas, but this is a check glass. And I love that very faint, kind of a lilac purple, really. Oh, and then this is the last, but certainly not least. These are angel wings. Okay, so they're just calling them check glass angel wings. So to me, they look kind of like a one of those melons, half, half moons or melon beads. You can get them in all sorts of colors and finishes. I love these because you can use them like little angel wings if you want to use the bead form. And these clear are very cute to do for angel wings. So look at that. Gives me a little bit of extra sparkle for Santa Claus. All right, guys, so this is the Winter Luminescence. Again, if you're not familiar with Potomac Beads, they have the two different types of subscriptions now each month. For 2023, they changed it up, so they've got what's called the Treasure Box Edition, which is what you see here. Sometimes we get tools, sometimes we get supplies like your beading wire, your basics and stuff. A lot of times we get all of these neat beads, different types of beads, and sometimes it's a theme and sometimes it's not for the treasure box. Now on the other type of subscription, it's called the kit edition, and that is what used to be the uh, Best Bead Box XL. So instead of one kit, you get like three to four kits or two to three kits. I can't remember. That is great for you bead weavers out there that want to do something like a kit for a specific bracelet, a kit for a certain pattern of ring or necklace, you know, so, so on and so forth. But you get a couple of uh, different types of kits in that box for that month versus how the Treasure Box Edition just gives you a nice collection of cool beads to help be, uh, beef up your stash. But also, like for instance, this month has a theme for Christmas. So that's a lot of fun. Now I do have my affiliate links below in the description. If you're interested in either of those subscriptions, please go check them out and use my links. That will help me out as well. I do appreciate each and every one of you that are doing that. And I hope that you've been enjoying your subscriptions as you've been going along through the new year here um, with 2023's change over at Potomac Beads. Now they have actually kind of expanded their catalog of things because now they're doing some home decor type stuff. So if I can remember to do so, I'll try to put a link to that as well for you guys who might be interested in that. They're not leaving the beading world, so don't be scared anybody because, you know, they're, they're, they do their Potomac pearls, their crystals, all that stuff to kind of help fill the void of some of the others that have been closing up shop or moving on to other types of jewelry supplies that they offer. I will come back and show you some goodies that I make with some of these beautiful beads. They do have some beading ideas that you can find inspiration from as well as a YouTube channel. But you can visit potomacbeads.com slash ideas to help get your inner creativity and find more beading happiness. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and share this with any of your jewelry making friends that might be interested in these jewelry making supplies from Potomac Beads as well as the kit options that they have available. If you've not already done so, please subscribe to my channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Have a sparklerific Christmas, y'all. Bye!